you are welcome to banahene tutorial collections and i have this data set in my current worksheet and this data set is about employee information and also we have all these individual columns which has its individual data below it when you move to the right side i have these two columns i have the status and also i have paid and unpaid column now under status i have inserted all these checkboxes which are available when i click on any of these checkbox i want to see whether any of these employees are paid or unpaid and we need to link these checkboxes to some cells so that we can use its default arguments which are true and false and we are going to base on that argument to identify whether these employees are paid or unpaid under this column now if you want to learn how to insert checkboxes into microsoft excel then please drive to the description below i have dropped a link of that video that shows you how to insert checkboxes into microsoft excel worksheets and use that to manipulate your data as i said earlier we are going to link these checkboxes to their individual cells so that we can base on that and get the paid and unpaid option for these individual employees we are going to use a simple trick and that is we are going to base on the visual basic for application in microsoft excel which is a programming editor of excel and we are going to use that to automatically link all these cells to their individual cells so let's jump right in into this programming editor and perform this operation a quick way to get access to the editor is to hold the alt key and f11 now this opens up this microsoft visual basic for application interface and the next thing that we are going to consult is when we move to this side this is where we have all our worksheets available i'm going to drag this so that you can have a view of it we have two worksheets in our workbook let me show you this worksheet in the workbook in this current worksheet when i move to the sheet tab you can see that i have two worksheets here we have the employee payroll and we have employee information and currently we are working in the employee information that is why we have two worksheets in our visual basic for application so i am going to double click on the second sheet which is sheet two and now this brings out this dialog box that is going to give us the code interface so that we can write this simple code and link all our checkboxes into their individual cells so on the title bar you can see that we have the name of the worksheet and we have it as sheet two and this is where we are going to write our code now the next thing that we have to notice is we click on the drop down arrow and make sure that general is selected after doing this we have our cursor blinking in this interface we are going to type our first command which is so our first command is sub link check bosses then we open and close the brackets and hit the enter key now we are prompting or telling vba that we are going to link all our checkboxes that we have in this active worksheet to their individual cells so this is the procedure of this command now we have our cursor blinking between these two commands that is in between the sub and also the end sub we are going to have our code between it so when we execute this action that is going to perform the action or the operation that we need in our current worksheet I'm going to press the enter key so that we can have a better view of this command the next command we are going to type is then we hit the enter key so our second command is deem check as checkbox we are declaring a variable in our worksheet telling vba that any check that we are going to have is going to be on our checkbox therefore when we manually get into our active worksheet and click on any of the checkboxes it should check and when it's checked there should be an action so we are declaring this variable that chk is set as checkbox so when we get into our active worksheet and click on any of these checkboxes there should be a check that is going to have a check mark in that box now let's hit the enter key our next command is and let's hit the enter key now this third command says for each check in active sheet is related to the checkboxes so the active worksheet that we have that consists of our employee information 
any checkbox that we have inserted into it we deem that check to that checkbox so for each checkboxes that we have in our worksheet when we click on it that is this is going to be a consistent operation that is why we have our second command saying deem check as checkbox so we are declaring that any initial operation that we have for a checkbox should be applied to all the checkboxes in our active worksheet so the third command is going to base on the second command so that it will link all the checks that we are going to have in our active worksheet for all the individual checkboxes so when we get back to our active worksheet and click on any of the checkbox you should have a tick mark and also perform the action that is is going to display the true or the false argument after typing this third command press the enter key the reason why i'm opening up these spaces for us to see the commands individually very clear in this interface so i'm going to press the tab key check link cells so sometimes when you are typing the command you get this drop down list that shows you if you have any relative command that you want to choose from this list then you press the tab key and i want to type linked so once this is selected i am going to press the tab key now this brings out this command in my command line so now this command is typed check link cell this variable check that we executed in the second command we are telling this vba that any checkbox that we have in the active worksheet should be linked to its cell and that is going to base on the next input that is equal to so as i am typing i want to type top left cell this command is in the list i can use my arrow key to select and press the tab key we are going to link all the cell to the top left cell that is if we check any of the checkbox the argument true or false should be displayed in the top left cell above the checkbox and also we have another command that can help us to redirect these arguments which are the true or false and that command is the offset command so i'm going to type the dot symbol and type offset so i have the offset in the drop down list press the tab key then we are going to open the bracket now this is where we are going to have a range a range where we are going to have all our arguments displayed that is the true and false argument so you can see that the screen tip says offset row offset colon offset as range so we are going to determine the range and as you all know range are multiples of cells or multiples of active cells so we are going to use a number it can be from zero to any number so for the first one, i'm going to type zero then bring my comma and for the colon offset i'm going to type three then close the bracket and then because when it comes to cells they have cell references or cell name or cell addresses and these cell addresses is dependent on the selected colon and row that is the intersection of row and colons that makes us to get a cell address so i'm going to type dot address so in the list i have address here i can use the arrow key to select and press the tab key now let's hit the enter key press the backspace hit the enter key once again and the next command is next and press the enter key we are trying to tell visual basic for application that any checkbox that we have is being linked to a cell and the display is going to be in the top left cell and that is going to base on the offset that is where the checkboxes are we want that argument to move to a particular cell and that is going to base on these numbers that we've typed here zero and three for the row and colon so zero means i am starting from the initial location of the first checkbox where my first checkbox is that is where i'm going to start from and the number three moves the argument to the third column starting from where the first checkbox is so for you to understand this let me press the f5 on the keyboard and this has executed this command let's close this window and move to our worksheet now when i click on this you can see that i have this true argument here so calculating from this current first checkbox you can see that we have this checkbox under colon g therefore because i type three in the offset for the rule i have one two three meaning this is where 
the argument is going to be displayed you can choose any number between 0 and 9 and that is going to move your argument to whatever cell based on the offset so if you type 2 for the colon it means i'm going to have the argument here so you can change the variable based on your preference and that is going to depend on the data set or the organization of your data in your worksheet so because i chose zero for the row and also three for the colon based on my first position of the checkbox this is where the checkbox is that is the row three so i chose zero meaning i am starting from this row and the colon moves to this side if i choose one for the row that is also going to change this so let's move back to our vba and let me show you this so let's assume that i change this zero to one and then press the f5 on the keyboard now when i click on this first let me delete all these options now when i click on this you see that i have this true in this colon previously i chose zero for the offset i had a true in this cell but now because i chose one for the rule offset i have the true here meaning when i click on the first checkbox which is in the first position of this row three the argument has moved down at a time still that is maintained in this column because still we have three for the offset for colon in our vba when you are choosing the number you should know where you want your argument to be positioned when it comes to this particular operation you need to understand yourself very well and also understand how your data is well organized and controlled in your worksheet when i choose this second checkbox you can see that i have this here so all these are moving down at a time and which is not matching horizontally to this individual checkboxes so i wanted these checkboxes to match their argument horizontally that is why in the first operation i chose zero for the row and also three for the column now in this case this is not what i want i just wanted to have this illustration to you so that if you have your worksheet which consists of its data and you want to have this argument displayed in the cells in the active worksheet you know the kind of number to choose in the offset command but for me personally i want the arguments should be displayed right in the position of the checkboxes that is if i click on this checkbox i want the true or the false argument to be in the same cell where the checkbox is situated so i'll go back and change this particular vba code so i'm going to delete this so alt f11 brings you back to your code now this is what i'm going to do because i want the output that is the true and false argument should be at the right positions of the checkboxes i'm going to type zero for the rule and then for the colon i'm also going to type zero sorry there is a mistake here i have to change this to zero now let's press f5 on the keyboard now let me close this when i get back to my interface of my worksheet and click on this you can see that i have the true 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 so we have been able to dive our arguments right at the position of our checkboxes so when you click on these checkboxes you are going to have your true or false argument in the same cell where your checkboxes are positioned depending on your data that you have in your excel workbook you should play along with the offset command and know where and when to have your true or false argument displayed in your individual cells i want them to be right at the same position of the checkbox so when i click on this it displays the true or false argument if i uncheck i have false if i uncheck i have false if i check i have true so we have used visual basic for application to link all the checkboxes to their individual cells automatically now the next thing i want you to do is i don't want this true or false argument to be displayed or visible in this worksheet i'm going to select all these cells then i'll move to my home tab on the menu bar in the font group i'm going to change the font color to be white so that these arguments will be invisible so when i click nobody knows whether there is any argument in this checkbox now that we have this done let's move to this column which is column h where we have the paid and unpaid 
option we are going to use the if command to get our output and that is going to base on the cell reference of these checkboxes so i'm going to type the equal to sign and the if function now our logical text is going to base on the first cell reference that is g3 that is where our first checkbox is situated now if g3 is equal to true then we open our quotation mark meaning that employee is paid and if not that is to get the false argument that is going to be unpaid now let me explain this function to you if whatever argument that we have in this gen3 that is a cell reference gen3 if it is true and when there is a click on this checkbox this should provide us with a paid option and if we uncheck then it's going to give us unpaid option now let's press the enter key so currently we have unpaid so if i click i get paid unpaid so let's assume that at the end of the month we have salary paid and whenever we want to pay salary to these employees we go through these checkboxes and check so if we assume that at the end there is no checkbox checked it means that we did not pay that particular employee but you can see that nothing is displayed here because we had only the function situated in h3 so to give this function to all the individual cells to link to these cells that is where the related cell references of excel comes in handy so if i double click on this fill handle this will copy all this function to these individual cells and that is going to match all the cells here with their check boxes so now if i click on this i have paid 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 and this is the power of relative reference in microsoft excel so now you can see that we have done this operation in an easy way First, we have automatically link our checkboxes to our cells and also use our if function to get our output. And also, we were able to make our true and false arguments invisible. So, this particular tax can be used for so many data sets. You can use in the classroom to check the absenteeism or the presence of your student. You can use to also check the availability of your employees in the company or the institution. So when an employee comes to work, you check to show that that person is present. And if that person is not around, there will be no check on the checkbox, meaning that person is absent. So you can use this particular operation for so many different kinds of data sets in Microsoft Excel. I hope this video is helpful. Please give it a like, share, and also consider to subscribe for more content. You can check the link in the description below that shows you how to insert checkboxes and link them manually or also automatically.